See this ceramic teapot? My entire household is in here. Oh. How does that work? So <laughs> in your group I won? <laughs> okay. A huge bag of Mora times fifty thousand? Wait. <laughs> Child, what? Last time it was only one. <laughs> it is It's Chi Chi. <laughs>Okay hey guys, I'm back in Genshin Impact, so it's time to continue the Archon quest eh? Now we're uh, preparing something for offering to the Geo Archon Oh, it's this one, it's this shop, okay, no wonder Hey boss, do you sell silk flowers here? Silk flowers? We certainly do! Which kind would you like? Which kind? The, uh, the good kind? <laughs> Ugh, you ignorant shoppers. Always coming in here with your stupid questions. Golden Housemaiden, Valley Weaver, and Fate's Yearning. One of each to start with, if you don't mind. My goodness, this gentleman is quite the connoisseur. You two must be his servants. Uh, please refrain from any further attempts to contribute. Wait, you don't even recognize me? This is what I get for calling time on emergency food. Guess I had it coming. Now then, <laughs> please peruse at your leisure. Do let me know if you have any further thoughts. Silk flowers exhibit different properties based on how their environmental conditions differ from their ancestral habitat. Nevertheless, these are fine specimens. Excellently preserved. Just look at the abundant foliage here. And these stamens, glamorous as a maiden of the Golden House. This strain is an evergreen, and mostly grows under complex hydrological conditions. By contrast, this variety thrives in any dark, damp location, often in large clusters. Yeah. Morphologically, it is distinguished by the profusion of petals and densely packed stamens, though its powerful scent gives it away just as easily. Lastly, this strain is quite the recluse. Unlike its exuberant cousins, flowers and foliage are minimal. And when in season, it has a subtle yet enduring scent. It was first discovered by the ancients when they scaled the mountains in search of the Adepti. Silk flowers have all but disappeared from the wild today due to geographical changes over Liu's history. Oh. Most are not grown by horticulturalists. Wow! A true connoisseur! Most of that was news even to me! I possess but a smattering of trivial knowledge. My traveler friend is the one to watch. They are on track to set foot in every corner of the world. I'm still an ignoramus on horticulture. <laughs> oh, Mr. Zhongli, you're way too humble. So, which silk flower did you want anyway? I'll take them all. Boss. Really? Again? How can I put this? When purchasing opera tickets, it is natural to decide based on which singer has the most melodious voice. Uh -huh. The same logic applies when purchasing a pet bird. But this silk flower purchase is not an analogous case. The same logic does not apply. Perhaps you don't know. Tradition states that we should decoct perfume from different subspecies of silk flower when making an offering to a statue of the Seven. Mm -hmm. Rex Lapis will then make his own choice between the scents. Like several other tedious and complicated traditions, this one has become simplified over time. But this is the only rite of parting to take place for one of the Seven in 3,700 wow. years. Okay. As such, I do think we should honor tradition down to the last detail in this case. Now that's settled, a question. <laughs> <clears throat> really? <laughs> do Zongli, you really? have any mora on you? You forgot to bring money again? <sighs> Zongli? I see a pattern emerging here. By this point, I'd be surprised if you remembered. <laughs> uh, if I may interject, 
Did I hear you say that these flowers are to be an offering to the Lord of Geo himself? Yes, in a sense. Mm -hmm. Gosh, well, why didn't you say so? I heard the awful news about what happened at this year's Rite of Dissension. It would be bad luck to say it out loud. But I've been worried about our dear Lord ever since. I'm worried that everything I've heard is true. Since these flowers will be used to glorify our Lord, they're free, free of charge. Just don't forget to pass on my regards. Are you serious? Why wouldn't I be? I would be nobody if not for Rex Lapis. If he hadn't written those poems in praise of my wares, they'd only be worth a fraction of what I can sell them for today. Huh. So much folklore here revolves around Liyue's deity making cameo appearances <laughs> in support of local businesses. Thank you, boss. I think I speak for all of us when I say that your generosity has saved our skins. Our skins? You were the one who forgot <laughs> to bring money! Please, it's the least I could do. So, now that we've got the flowers, how do we make the perfume? Ideally, with the help of an expert. Unfortunately, none of my acquaintances have personal experience in the art of decoction. Talk about first world <laughs> problems. Oh, great. Hence, I need you to help by asking around in the city. So ask Try for the someone. common folk, especially women. So this time we get to go around town looking for nice smelling ladies <laughs> to talk to? Really? Paima likes this job. I will wait for you near the statue of the seven. Meet me there when the perfume is ready. Alright. Who are we Maybe supposed to we can find some good see. candidates at the Adventurers Guild? Adventures? Oh, that's a good idea. Princess Guan! She's master of the Liyue Bridge, right? <laughs> oh, this is Nan. Okay. Lan, we need to ask you for a favor. I stopped accepting commissions a long time ago. Sorry, you two, but you'll just have to ask another adventurer. Oh, it's not that kind of favor. It's just a teeny tiny thing. Do you know how to make perfume? You smell great. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Just wow. Do I look like the kind of girl who wears perfume to you? I think you're underestimating the kind of person I am. Well, Paimon thinks you smell amazing. So come on, Lon. What's your secret if not perfume? Now that you mention it, yes, there is something. What is that scent? It's not... Oh, it must be from the Qingxin flowers I picked on the way back. Oh. I forgot I still had them with me. Aha! Jin the truth Jin. is out. Lan's got a soft spot for wildflowers. Uh, no. They were for medicinal use only. Anyway, this is a pointless conversation. If you want to know about perfume, try talking to Qi Ming. Qi Ming. The fortune teller, right? Paimon remembers she smells pretty good. <laughs> Thanks, Lan. See you around. Okay, Qi Ming. Where's Qi Ming? By the way, thank you for completing. Forgot about this. Add Astra. <laughs> I don't have to go back all the way to Monstat for this. Or oh, Chi Ming, this one. Hello, how may I help? We've come to ask you a question. Do you know how to make <laughs> perfume? I rarely think to use it, let alone about how to make it myself. That said, some of the cosmetics I use are scented. Perhaps that's the cause of this confusion. Since I usually set up my stall by the docks, I avoid perfume like the plague. <laughs> because Celestia forbid those lusty sailors catch a whiff and come hunting for the source. That's the worst thing Paimon's heard all day! While we're on the subject, have you never heard anyone mention Ying Ar's homemade perfume? Ying Ar's homemade perfume. Ying Ar? Oh, as in scent of spring, Ying Er? Yes, that's her. Many a rich family's daughter has gotten her to make perfume for them. Apparently, her homemade product is better than anything you'll find on the market. Great! This is just the intel we need! Finally, we're getting somewhere! So now... Seek Ying Er's advice. Ying Er, this one. 
Well, hello. You found me at last. I've been waiting for you. What? How did you know we were coming? Oh, I heard a rumor about a couple who were snooping around town looking for a sweet-smelling lady. Actually, I was starting to worry you wouldn't find me. This is the <laughs> ultimate test of my appeal, after all. Snooping around? Why are you making it out like we're bad people? What can I say? People love to talk. Maybe you ought to be more discreet in the future if you don't want word to get around. Relax. I know why you're here. You want to get your hand on my homemade perfume, don't you? What kind would you like? Triple six flower variety, I guess. <laughs> Three in one go. My goodness. You have extreme tastes for someone your age. Maybe the rumors I heard were true after all. You're on the prowl and need some sweet smelling ammunition. Is that it? It's for Rex Lapis. <laughs> Is that the best you could come up with? Even if you were genuinely offering perfume to a deity, that doesn't explain why you'd need three kinds. Sorry, your story just doesn't hold water. Zhang Li was right. People don't remember this tradition anymore. As one of my favorite poems goes, O oh, cherry tree, begrudge not thy blossoms as they are deflowered in the spring, for come winter, even thy sturdiest wood shall wither. That went over Paimon's <laughs> head a little. <laughs> in short, I'm happy to help. Traveler, you can be my assistant. But you'd better make sure I'm the only person on your mind while you're hanging around with me. Uh, okay. So, where is a good place for making sweet, sweet perfume? Where is that, Mondstadt? We're only making some perfume. There's no need to go to such ridiculous lengths. Somewhere closer to home will do. Let's go for the kitchen at Wanmin Restaurant. Okay then, here. I've had a word with Chef Mao. We can start work now. Are you ready to please me? What did you say? I meant make me proud. As my assistant. Obviously. This thing is bad. While I'm setting up, you can go and fetch some water. Okay, fetch some water. Oh, here. This water will do nicely. Now, I need you to extract the silk flower essence using a crafting bench. Perfume making uses an altogether different technique from alchemy. Here, let me teach you. <laughs> Very carefully, take hold of the mortar and pestle. Gently does it. You need to keep your wrist firm so your hand doesn't slip. Now, use your strong hand to stir it with a persistent rhythm. Keep going yeah. until the juices start to come out. Okay, okay. Ooh, you're a natural, like a fish to water. Now, take these and try it out on your own using a nearby crafting bench. Don't forget to do all three. They look visually identical during the essence extraction process. But I will put them into separate containers when the perfume is ready. Learn how to craft golden house. What? There was, there was so many to do. Uh, golden house maiden essential. Valley weaver essential. Okay. Oh, there are different ones. Okay, I see. And the third one... There we go. Wow! This is some exquisite silk flower essence. On to the next stage, the most important one of all. The essence is placed into water and simmered over a low heat until most of the water has boiled off. You must take care to control the heat during this process. If the temperature goes too high, it will affect the scent. So please, focus on controlling the heat. This is the final step. Don't waste a drop of that essence now. We want all of it in there. Okay. All three perfumes are ready. And you, my friend, were a wonderful assistant. A testament to the lengths you will go to for romance. It's so rare to see nowadays. 
it's not like that. It's the king of you the whole time. <laughs> anyway, shall I give you a brief overview of each scent? It might just help you match the right scent to the right occasion. Paima wants to hear this. This first one is sweet as candy, straight out of a fairy tale. Younger women will love it. The second one is for those with more refined tastes. The first choice for daughters of high society. Finally, the third one has a soft but lingering scent, like a mist that captures the last light of dusk. Mature women adore this one. All clear? Don't get them mixed up now. You'll ruin the mood. Well, I actually don't remember that, but okay. Good. Be sure to come visit if you ever need help with anything, okay? I'll leave you with some parting words. One who tries to sail three boats simultaneously should be careful not to go overboard. Okay. <laughs> come and hang out with me at Scent of Spring sometime, okay? Let's take these three perfumes over to the Statue of the Seven! Try Mr. Zhang, he's probably been waiting a while. Yeah, let's... We've brought the perfumes, Mr. Zhang Li! Did we take too long? You were just staring up at the statue. Uh, oh, you're back. Don't worry, I haven't waited long. Compared to the watch that Rex Lapis's statues have kept over Liu, this was but a brief moment. <laughs> well, how can a person compete with a statue? That is true. Well, have you brought the perfumes? Three sets, and not one less. <sighs> Thank you both. Let us offer them up. Offer Gold House Maiden. This is the first kind of perfume. Miss Yinger said that it's sweet as a dream okay, so and it's liked by it. younger <laughs> ladies. Of a valley weaver. This is the second kind. It's got an elegant smell and the daughters of high society love it. And of a fate's yearning. The third kind has a gentle but lingering fragrance. Something, something like the dusk mist. Something, something. And it's a favorite of mature ladies. Oh, what was that? Looks like Rex Lapis really likes this one. I guess the final answer is number three. I guess so. That's the one older ladies like, right? Does that mean that Rex Lapis is actually an older lady? I don't think so. <laughs> Perhaps. 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 Rex Lapis has taken on countless forms. Perhaps that really was one of them. Song Lee, I'm wondering. What a shame. We only got to see the giant dragon form. Yeah, and the dragon form is one. Is I'm, I'm still thinking, you know, I'm still hearing, eh? Because of the... What he's wearing. Is is Song Lee actually the human form? It's like... Well, it's like Venti, you know? <laughs> the real killer. Yeah, I can leave that to the authorities. Well, we'll see. Let us focus on the fond farewell for Rex Lapis. What ulterior motives the child and the chasing have? We need, do need to see the exuvia. So, we finished another step in our preparations. What's next? Next, I would like the two of you to help me borrow the cleansing bell. Cleansing bell? Cleansing bell? At present, a friend of mine named Madam Ping is the guardian of the cleansing bell. She lives near Yujing Terrace. If you ask her, she will know what to do. Sure, but aren't you going to come yeah, with Yeah, I think us? it's better if you follow. Ah, I have certain reasons why I cannot be there in person. Really? Please, do this for me. All right. Man, why has he got to be so secretive this time? So now, talk to Madame Ping, the room within. Oh, this one. <sighs> All things must change. How do you do? Are you alright? Uh, it's nothing. It's nothing. I just thought it a great shame that so many of these glazed lilies have wilted. What happened to them? Back in my day, 
People said that glazed lilies can read human hearts. If they heard beautiful sounds like laughter and singing, they would also bloom joyfully. But if they heard too much wild gossip or slander, <sighs> They would quickly wither her away. So that means these flowers feel what's happening in Lila? Yes. The rumors of Rex Lapis's death are no small matter. They are everywhere. Some say it was a Fatui plot. Others say that the Chising made it all up. And still others think that that which lies in the deep is breaking free. This harbor is like a mountain of dry tinder one spark and the fire will consume us all well i shall say no more this old woman's grown too old and naggy did you have something to say yeah we need youngster? to borrow the cleansing bell borrow something from you I, i'm sure we could just say it Ah, that old trinket. <laughs> I remember it being here with me, but I've grown old. <laughs> I can't quite recall where it is exactly. An old friend of mine used to wear it on his person back when I was young. I guess that's... He saw me gazing at it often and gave it to me. Was it zombie? But he told me then that if someone should come to borrow that bell, I should not be loath to part with it. It has been many years, and who knows how many times someone has come to borrow this bell. Oh. Still, though, I can't recall when it started. It's been a long time since anyone long has come time? to borrow it. Now, how old is Zhang Li now, I'm gonna ask. <laughs> it has to be now. Oh, these old bones are... So slow to look for things. I doubt you can wait that long. Oh, uh, we can look for it ourselves. That's right, Granny. We'll follow you back home and search for it ourselves. And, um, we can help <laughs> with chores if you have any too. All right, children. There is no need to worry. I didn't place the bell very far away. Uh, do you live near here, Granny? Whoa, but this is Eugene Terrace. It's got to be expensive. Oh, an old lady like me can't afford to buy a place in this city. See this ceramic teapot? My entire household is in here. Oh. How does that work? So, <laughs> in your group I want? <laughs> really? It contains your house keys, the bell is all the own. I'm going to see the pine one one. I, I want to know. <laughs> and why do you need Paimon to go in anyway? Can't you just lift the lid and look inside? Oh, youngsters. I simply mean that the bell is somewhere inside this teapot, and you are quite welcome to borrow it. If you can find it. Oh? So, touch my dad's teapot. Really? Oh. Just like that? Huh? Are we in a domain? Uh, we are in the teapot. Huh. Huh? Where are we? What? what just happened? Youngsters, this is where this old woman keeps all oh. her things. Oh, there's a... Now. Go fetch that bell. I didn't know there was a spider, so oh, I had... That sounds like Granny's voice! So, this is our teapot? Okay, there we go. What the hell? I didn't expect that. Oh dear, so many cobwebs. <laughs> it seems I really haven't cleaned it in a long while. Sorry to trouble you children. <laughs> really? <laughs> Please help an old lady clean up. Okay, I didn't think it would be like this. The slimes too. Uh, here we go. Crush! 
There we go. This is similar like, uh, what was the place again? Uh, I forgot that. <laughs> I didn't, think, I didn't think the domains would be like this. <laughs> uh, okay. You notice? The cobwebs were made of elemental energy. Elemental energy. How long has it been since Granny <laughs> last swept this place? Okay. Is there anything here? No. Green current. Okay. Hey, wait. You know, with such a special teapot and the cleansing bell, do you think this old granny could also be an adeptus? Yeah, maybe. Eh? <laughs> huh? I I miss my platform. <laughs> oh. I always bounce back. Just watch oh, me. What? Oh what? Oh no 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 no! I wasn't ready for that. Wait, what? What is this laser BS? Go, Barbara, go! You are my business. Any any uh, any uh protection? Okay. One left. There we go. Oh, this line is now. It wasn't that difficult last time. Okay. Uh, how many levels does this teapot have? <laughs> it would be nice if we had one of these too. Or at least we wouldn't have to camp outside. Up there, huh? Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, that's the bell. Cleansing bell. Oh, you found it. <laughs> Youngsters are so quick on their feet. Oh, now, uh, let me... How does this opening work again? All right, that'll do. Come on out now, children. All right. <laughs> I didn't expect like a domain in a teapot. Really? That's actually quite cool, but I didn't expect the slimes to be tough or so. Oh, I see. Oh, in and out in no time. You youngsters really are quick. Li <laughs> Wei Sing, are you with the Fatui? Adeptus, uh, surely. An Adeptus? I haven't heard anyone say those words in earnest for a long time. As to whether I am one or not, child, surely you already understand. Ah, <sighs> Paimon kind of knows what you mean, but is also kind of confused. Are you really giving us the bell just like that, Granny? Don't you think it's weird? Something's just happened to Rex Lapis, and then we come running up asking for it? Mm hmm Oh, don't be silly. Liyue Harbor has been through a great deal in its history. In that time, it has seen the departure of countless adepti. But no matter what, we have always performed the rite of parting first before any other matters. Okay. To cry, catch the murderer at the top of one's lungs, but ignore the rite of parting. That, to me, is what is wrong-headed. Yeah, that's... Now that you have come to Makes borrow sense. the bell, I guess that perhaps an old friend of mine has finally decided to take matters into their own hands. So, why would I be unwilling to lend you the bell? What if your friend doesn't return it? Can I keep it? Hey! It belongs to Granny! We're <laughs> supposed to return what we borrow! Oh, 
let you keep it. <laughs> you really are a frank child. If you want it, you can keep it. But this bell gets homesick sometimes. Who knows? It might find its way back into these old hands. Let's see. Well, you must have things to do. Since you have the bell, you should return. Oh, and do tell the person who sent you that if they have time, they can come over for tea. I don't have much to offer, but you can always count on an old lady for a pot of tea. Right. We will. Thanks, Granny. It's bigger on the inside. That's the achievement. <laughs> Put the perfume and cleansing bell in place. So let's do it now. Indeed, this is the cleansing bell. Hmm. It's in good condition. Let's place the perfume we've prepared inside. Of course. Oh, I How would I know that the bell up. was with her otherwise? Without reading. That's suspicious. But if you don't want to talk about it, we won't pry. Yeah. Oh, yes. That old granny asked us to tell you something. If you have the time, you can come <laughs> over for tea. I don't have much to offer, but you can always count on an old lady for a pot of tea. <laughs> that tone does not suit you. <laughs> Still, her teapot is indeed very good. There are none better for brewing tea. When a suitable time arrives, I'll bring a spot of fine tea and pay her a visit. So what's the next step in our preparations? Hmm. Next. We need to purchase kites. Ooh, Paimon loves kites! Are you taking us kite flying? No, is this our that's break time? not what it means. <laughs> no, no. Kites are children's toys, yes. But they also play various symbolic roles in Liyue's rituals. I will explain it to you. But our next course of action should probably be to purchase the kites first. Okay. Oh, sure. Curiouser and curiouser. Buy kites this time, huh? Uh, downtown, go and buy kites. Alright, sure. It's night time, though. Ah, sir, you're here. The seven kites you asked for have been made to order. Would you like to take them now? Yes, thank you. It's rare to see customers who want to buy this type of kite nowadays. <laughs> In the early days, we used to get orders from people of all walks of life. Well, this is Mr. Zhang Li from the Longsheng Funeral Parlor, so he's probably well versed in all these walks of life. We've talked about a whole bunch of things while traveling with him. <laughs> yep. Fashion, economics, jewelry, and jig pottery. Tea, perfume, flora, and fauna. Both, I guess. <laughs> he seems to know Liyue's favorite topics, money and government, really well. But he likes talking about less useful topics instead. Well, that's because I prefer to share fun things with you. <laughs> <laughs> Children's toys are very fun things, that's for sure. I enjoy watching the children at play as much as anyone else. But there is more to it than that. Finely crafted toys are well loved by children, but this craft itself has been honed over thousands of years, and there is meaning behind that. I have made kites in Liyue for 40 years, <laughs> and I am intimately familiar with the forms passed down from my ancestors. The meaning of these seven kites is far from banal. Indeed. These are decorations used in the rite of parting. Oh. The seven kites represent the seven. I see. I took the liberty of coloring outside the lines when doing the insignia of the Animo Archon. <laughs> As for the kite that honors the Geo Archon, one must follow the contract given right down to the last letter. These patterns are ancient, and you can also find them in the Golden House. Ah, Paimon's heard that name before! Paimon, stop talking. Shush. Huh? 
The design of this kite displays a firm grasp on the cyclicality and eternity so dear to the Electro Archon. Ooh, you're talking about the other Archons or so. Electro Archon? Is that the one in Inazuma? These markings of tree and leaf pay due honor to wisdom and the passage of time. All this on a single kite. Truly astonishing. Justice flows across the surface of the waters. War rages like a flame, as does that which the Cryo Archon wants. <sighs> yes, these details are masterfully Cryo done. Archon. <laughs> the compliments of a learned man truly are pleasant. Then you have well four of them, then, right? Shen, I shall take these back with me. As for the payment... Uh-oh. <laughs> as for the payment, he says. <laughs> well, allow me. Ah, oh, child. Child is here. Okay. Hey, it's child. Uh, did you arrange to meet here? You ambushed us. <laughs> no, I was merely passing through. Oh. I see Mr. Zhang Li's the same as ever. When paying, well, when getting others to pay for him, he neither looks at the price tag nor his wallet. He knows a great deal about money. And about the trials of the common man, he just doesn't consider poverty to be something that could ever happen to him. <laughs> or perhaps you could say that he cannot imagine himself lacking money. He cannot imagine himself lacking money, but he doesn't bring the money. <laughs> How has he not died of hunger yet? <laughs> Child, you are as fond of jokes as ever. Well then, since we've purchased our kites without incident, there's no need to take a break before moving to the next step in our preparations. The right of parting requires helping hands as well as materials. We should be able to find some people near the harbor. Oh, by the way, take this bag of money. You probably won't want to let Zhang Li do the bargaining, if you know <laughs> what I mean. Okay. Shall sponsoring all this? Hmm. Seems I missed out on some interesting information. Hmm? Interesting information? I suppose I'll just have to find a more opportune moment next time. What do you mean? Child? Find the three workers. Okay. A huge bag of Mora times 50,000? Wait. <laughs> Last time it was just a huge bag of Mora. I have 50,000? <laughs> Child, what? Last time it was only one. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What? Okay. Let me tell you how. Hiring help? Sure. But let me just say first that I'm a reserve member of the Adventurers Guild. I take adventuring commissions, but I don't do anything clerical. Adventure? Venturing into the mountains to capture a few crystal flies seems adventurous enough. We need. We have need of five crystal flies. Huh? That's not hard. Almost a bit too easy for a reserve adventurer. Ah, never mind. I'll only charge you 15,000 more. What say you? Okay, sure. A most fair price. Uh, no. Let's negotiate. Yes, a fair price. Why? We can negotiate? Should we? <laughs> for now, 15,000 is okay. But we don't know what the other two will be. Ooh, yeah, don't let Zhongli just accept it. <laughs> no. <gasps> you can choose. Oh, there's a mood though. His mood is like 3.5. How about I give 12,500? How about that? Alright. You don't want to give all yet. <laughs> Is that okay? A pleasure doing business with you. Alright. I guess the amount also shows how much we will get. I don't know. Tick. Oh, help? Sure. I, Tick, always put in 100% effort into everything I do. Of course, there'll be a premium if you want me to give 110%. Oh, really? Okay. So what's the job? Let me see. We are still missing some wooden implements over at Eugene Terrace. 
They aren't uncommon objects, so I didn't make any special preparations. Fifty-three branches and twenty stacks of timber. Well, you can just keep chopping trees, and you can get up to that. But that's quite a lot as well. No problem. That'll be twenty thousand more for a single trip. How does that sound? Done. <laughs> wait, let's stop prices. Wait, 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 wait. This mood is quite happy. So twenty and fifty, man. twenty and fifty. Uh, this mood is quite happy though. So, you know what? I'll give him. 17,500 That should be good enough Or oh, is that too much? <laughs> mm, but he's in a good mood so I think yeah, should be fine Let me think Man, deal This price is reasonable I'll hop right to it Okay I only have 20,000 left so I hope it doesn't charge too much because uh, if it's just just good enough, I'll give him all twenty thousand. This guy? Oh no, this guy. Tech. Oh, tech. A full day of odd jobs at Eugene Terrace. Hmm. No problem. Twenty-five thousand per day. A fair trade, yes. <clears throat> well, I only have twenty thousand, so. Whoa, that's expensive. Um. Could you give us a bit of a discount on account of the whole Hero of yeah. Mondstadt thing? Hero of Mondstadt? Never heard of them. Damn. Well, you may never have heard of this hero, but it seems you've heard of Mora nonetheless. Thus, I will simply pay the Yeah, we don't have 25,000. <laughs> this is all you've got? Then no can do. Please go look for someone named Chad. Damn it, 25,000. Should I let, give it less to that guy just now? <laughs> Child? No, no, no. He's putting up the money? Yeah, uh, still no. Uh, wouldn't that mean I have to make two trips rather than one? How about this? Let's make a trade. I'll take what you're offering right okay. now. And? And find me a high quality Lotus head. I'll consider that my detour fee pay sure. and go find That's what's better. his face child. How Lotus head, it? sure. Why not? Guess we've got no choice. Yeah, sure, no problem. Let's do it. Give the lotus head. Yeah, I got it already. <laughs> Why not? Goods? Yes, here you go. Oh, that looks good. I'm hitting the kitchen tonight, and it's not often that I get to use such fresh and high-end ingredients. Well, I'll head to Eugene Terrace in a moment. I won't be late. Yeah, all the 50,000, 20,000, all gone already. Alright. I thought 20,000 was alright. All finished then? Splendid. Any leftover cash is yours to keep. A favor for the Fatui should never go unrewarded. Well, there wasn't any... Uh, there wasn't any left. <laughs> you think you can buy us off with some loose change? No way! Paimon demands to know when the next payment is coming! <laughs> no, that's not... <laughs> <laughs> well, how does this sound? You give me the information I need, and maybe I'll leave the Northland Bank's vaults open and unattended for half an hour. Eh? What info do you need? No, Paimon. Huh. Does that mean you know what he's after? What else could the Fatui want? Are you forgetting what happened in Monster? Yeah. He's trying to get some information about... Uh, yeah, something that F the Fatui will want though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> huh. <laughs> you both need to calm down. I don't know what's gotten into you. Just what is this about? The atmosphere got so tense all of a sudden. You have something to be doing also, right? You need the information for something. Next, we need some everlasting incense. For this, we need to go to Boo Boo Pharmacy. The finest pharmacy in all of... Um... The air is a bit... Is... Everything okay? Everything is fine. I was just informing them that they need not return the surplus mora. There wasn't any. <laughs> now if you'll excuse me, I must be going. But I guess that was my fault though. Simon definitely felt like Child wasn't happy with us just now. Yeah, but he is trying to get information from us. <coughs> Some information that the Fatui would want. Go to Bubu Pharmacy? Alright. 
It's already an hour. I should end this soon. I mean, I should. I already did that teapot thing. That was something. The pharmacy is this place. Pharmacy. Where is that from? Did you hear that? Where did it come from? The reception, it seems. How about you go check it out and <laughs> Paimon will bring up the rear? Um. Find the source of the mystery voice. Wait a minute. Is someone here? A short person right here. I let me guess if it's correct. Yeah, that sounded like a short person. Is it Chichi? <gasps> it is. It's Chichi. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, if you're gonna talk about height, <laughs> is she a zombie? Yeah, isn't Chi Chi a zombie? Ah, Paimon thinks you might be right. Look at the talisman on her forehead. Welcome to Boo Boo Pharmacy. I am Chi Chi. Oh, so Chi Chi works in a uh, Boo Boo Pharmacy. Once upon a time, Chi Chi died. Then, Chi Chi was saved by the Adepti. Now. Ooh. Chi Chi is a zombie. And yeah, Chi Chi is a cryo ice type. Uh, the zombies count as a death time. Nonchalant delivery for a bombshell revelation. Something like this would be unimaginable in Mondstadt. Uh, hello, little girl. Do you sell everlasting incense here? Excuse me, sir. Did you bring your prescription? I. Surely no prescription is needed to purchase everlasting incense. It's not a controlled substance. Chi Chi can get your medicine. But only if you show Chi Chi your prescription. These are Chi Chi's orders from Chi Chi. Chi Chi's orders from Chi Chi. <laughs> Why is she being so difficult? Orders? Zombies are limited to acting within the confines of their orders. And somehow in this case, the zombie issues her own orders to herself. My dear Chi Chi, we didn't bring a prescription, I'm afraid. But we do hope that you can still help us find some everlasting incense. Okay then. <laughs> How did you manage that? But Chi Chi helps you. You help Chi Chi. Only fair. Okay. Since when do customers need to do favors for customer service staff? <laughs> Never mind. Just think of it as a peer-to-peer -peer transaction. Sure. That way, everybody wins. Sometimes in Liyue, the art of the deal is simply about victory via mental gymnastics. Go to Mount Tianhong, find the Guizhong Ballista, and hunt a Coco Goat. Coco Goat? Please and thank you. Hunt the what with the witch at where? <laughs> Mount Tianhong, find the Guizhong Ballista, hunt a Coco Goat. Guizhong <laughs> hmm. Ballista. I have heard of this device before. It's a kind of crossbow turret installed on Mount Chinhong by an adeptus in the distant past. An early mechanical device. Located in Chinhong Pass, it was designed to automatically fire at large monsters, protecting oh. Liyue from external threats. Mr. Zhang Li really knows Liyue inside out. Apparently, not quite. This is the first I have ever heard of the Coco Goat. <laughs> the Coco Goat is a legendary animal. An Adepta Beast. Adepta Beast? Did you want to add anything else or...? No. Just that the Coco Goat is a legendary animal. An Adepta Beast. What it looks like. Don't know. Where <sighs> to find it? Don't know either. Really? Where it came from? Also don't know. 
Do tell us if you remember anything else you don't remember. This isn't much to go on. Very well then. Let's start by investigating near the Guizhong Ballista. Perhaps we will find some clues. <laughs> what the, what the heck? heck is a Coco Goat? Coco Goat. Look for the Guizhong Ballista. Um. Okay. Uh, Chi Chi. Coco Goat. Go find it. <laughs> I think that would be good enough for, for now. Well, so Chi Chi works in this. Uh, what was this place again called? I forgot the place name again. Something pharmacy. Yeah. Okay, that's good enough. We <laughs> went from a teapot and then to this. Uh, well, before this place. Bargaining money. <laughs> 50,000 more. <laughs> Okay, wow. adventure team, assemble! Okay, quiet, Bennett. Anyway guys, that's Penny's it. Adventure team, assemble! Really? Okay, yeah again, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. <laughs>